airlines across the world have seen sharp drops in traffic last year with carbon emissions dropping temporarily because of COVID. But airlines are now seeing demand recovery and ANA is also um, aiming to return to profit this fiscal year. So how does ANA re plan to revive its business while lowering carbon emissions? With the pandemic, the push towards a more sustainable and green movement has intensified globally. As our business recovers from the pandemic, it's crucial to put carbon reduction at the top of our agenda. ANA has announced a target to reduce the carbon emissions from our aircrafts to zero by the year 2050, and we are now aiming to achieve this huge challenge. ANA has laid out a 2015 carbon reduc emission reduction plan aiming for zero net emissions for both aircraft and non-aircraft flight operations, which sounded like a pretty ambitious goal for me. Um, what is the key area that ANA needs to invest the most in to achieve the goal, and why is it? Kani. 99% of all ANA Group's carbon emissions come from aircrafts, and we have four key approaches as to how we can achieve this. Firstly, we will introduce new technologies. The second is to improve our operations. Thirdly, we will introduce the use of sustainable aviation fuel. And lastly, we will join the emissions trading scheme. ANA has called for government support to increase um, the procurement of sustainable aviation fuel, which is a type of um, biofuel. What kind of um, government support do you think is necessary and how much is, um, if you can specify? Though I said the use of aviation fuel will be the key for carbon reduction, currently only 0.1 percent of all aircraft fuel globally is sustainable aviation fuel. It is important that the fuel is mass produced and becomes available at low prices for the global aviation industry. Governments in the U.S. and Europe are offering subsidies at the level of production and supplies. We'd like to work with the government to promote companies that make and develop sustainable aviation fuel. And we like to help build a viable supply system. So Japan is only a month or two away from Tokyo 2020 Olympics and Paralympics, um, if the game will be held. Um, and sustainability is a crucial part of the game's concept. How do you feel about being a sponsor right now? The Tokyo 2020 Committee is aiming for a sustainable operation and is trying to meet the global standard. It has also been in our interest to bring our sustainability to the global standard. We have made efforts to improve our sustainability in the areas of business, human rights, and the environment. It has been very significant to be one of the sponsors of the Olympics and Paralympics from this perspective. We hope that Japanese companies can all grow and meet global standards, and we hope that this trend will continue even after the Games.